Week 9 of Broncos franchise has us taking on the 6-2 Baltimore Ravens. Tough week for us to get two breakouts. Um, obviously got um, Chris Abrams' drain with his breakout part of three here. So we'll see what we have to get done for him. Four tackles and pass and three pass deflections. All right, it's gonna be pretty difficult. So we just had to focus on pass uh, pass deflections for him. Tackles should come pretty naturally. Jonathan Cooper, five tackles and one tackle for loss. Sure, think we might be able to get that for him. I think sacks count as tackle for losses. Could be wrong, but yeah, let's take a look here. Uh, it's obviously trade deadline. I I don't know what we're doing with Cortland Sutton. He's either going to be, I guess we'll see what kind of game he has today. If he has a good one, we'll keep him the rest of the year. If not, I think we might sell him or trade him, not sell him. Javante. Probably keep him to the off season. We'll see how things are looking. I don't know. I don't know yet. Mm, excuse me. Yeah, Jonathan Cooper. Should be able to get that goal for him. I'm gonna put him in as the rush right end. Move Troy Franklin in at the slot. That all looks good. So, yeah, we'll uh, do our weekly strategy and then we'll get into this game. All right. I went all black versus all white jerseys, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so, that's something that looked cool today. Of course, a uh, storyline today is Bill Cortland Sutton be traded by the end of this game. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Raven team as they get ready here. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. Did win last week. Look to make it two in a row. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? All right. See if we can make anything happen today. We're going to return that up to 30. So here's the first try for the Ravens. And at the helm is the 2023 NFL most valuable. Very scary offense here. He's won the award. Lamar Jackson. And for how good he is throwing the ball, I would say have to watch Lamar so on the run. Of course, the big man in the backfield, so we'll Derrick Henry, and they are going to swing it out to him. You turn off that switch stick. That's going to drive me nuts. Uh, let's see here. First Tried to go for a hit stick and it switches me to Micah Hyde, which I appreciate, but I can press B. I, it's not that big of an issue for me. Stopping Derrick Henry is going to be a big, big part of our game plan today. Got five wide. I'm just going to play spy with Barton. I know I'm supposed to be blitzing, but. Here's Jackson. Jordan Brooks on Mark Andrews on that route. Not good enough coverage as he gets the first. Quite a bit after. It's a fumble to Derrick Henry. He can't pick it up, but he eventually does. Loss of five brings up second and 15. 
to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. They go play action with Jackson. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar on the catch. First down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 30. Good idea. Yes, it's a run. Play action. It's Jackson. Jesus. Isaiah likely with the catch picking up a first there. Oh, I don't like offenses like this. Like the Ravens and the Chiefs. Fun to watch in real life, but man. Hate playing them in Madden. Just do too much, man. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. That pass caught by Bateman. Back in the end zone. Or a touchdown. I did as much as I could with Cody Barton. I couldn't get all the way back there in time. Baltimore are going to go up 7 nothing. 7 plays for 70 yards in 3 minutes and 33 seconds. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. We're set on the return of past the 35 to the 37. Oh, Nick's coming out. So here the Broncos now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their rookie. I like those stats. The young man out of Oregon. I like this guy. And the reason I do, he tends to stand an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed. Take what the defense gives him. And then he can strike at times. Inside zone here it looks good for a run. McLaughlin. Gain a four there. Could have been a lot worse. Operating from the gun. Here's Nix. Dolcich with the catch. Up to the 45. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45. Of course, when I am recording this, it is currently Monday night. Uh, Monday night football is on right now. That oh, way too far in front of him. Roquan Smith with the pick. I thought this new meter was supposed to be good. I don't know if I'm liking it. It's been treating me nice, but then I don't know what's going on right now. Aguilar with the catch, gain of four. Second and six. Going to Derrick Henry up the middle. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. I'm with the same formation. Henry on the left side this time. In motion left goes a tight end. Andrews in motion. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have the Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. Oh, Baron Brownie with the sack. And he goes down. I need Jonathan Cooper to do that, not Baron Browning. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. In motion, Aguilar. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. Brandon Jones. In the stop off the block from Derrick Henry. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Sertan just running past. And up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. An injury on the field. Of course, we don't get notified or anything. Medical to 17 now. Here's a first and 10. 
In motion, Aguilar. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jets. Pretty barn jumping the gap there. Aaron Brown injured. Keep him in, even though I wanted Jonah Ellis in there. Hit the wrong button, but whatever. After one seven nothing on EA Sports. All right. Seven nothing Baltimore on top still. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. Just outside the red zone. As they've got it as They're we knocking down a second score here. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Jackson will throw again. Over the middle complete. It's Flowers. Should have been a Jordan Brooks pick or pass deflection at least. Yeah, I I'm just gonna run commit here. Henry. Dad doesn't even matter. Why would it? So dumb, dude. Why even try? If if it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Touchdown. Oh, man. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Pass to McLaughlin, pass broken up. So many Roquan Smith right on his foot. That's a Devin Culp, good for four. Wish he would have caught that in stride. Sideline for Sutton. Pass deflected. We are going to punt it. Three and out here. I think they have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again. And he continues to show off his ability to run the football when the opportunity is right. He is the NFL leader in rushing yards from the QB position. We're saving the string. Uh, the tackle. He goes down right there. He needs three more. They try and play Jonathan Cooper here. Try and get a tackle for loss. Forget exactly what he all needs, but I know for sure it's a tackle for loss. It's his third tackle today. I just need some pass deflections with him. AD. Now it's Jackson. That could have been one if he would have turned around. Come on, dude. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Henry up the middle. Down at the third. Like a high with the tackle there. In a three. Probably Henry in motion. They're going to run it with him. Nope. Or a pass. That's a Micah. That's a Micah Hyde. Say Flowers. Broken up by Micah Hyde. And now it brings up third down. Play action. Now Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is man. another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 19. The team sucks in pass coverage, man. Shouldn't be this hard. Bagalore in motion left. Now Jackson. This complete left side to Aguilar. Another pass to Aguilar, 5 for 35 today. 
Comes in with two to go on second down. Be second and two. Again, Jackson. What? This is caught. Why doesn't that switch you to Micah Hyde? Should have been a pick. Sir Dan, why are you coming in? It's gonna drive me nuts, bro. Here's Jackson to throw. So is that one away? Third, third and goal. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go. Like a high making a big stop brings up fourth and goal here. Finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. They're going to go for it. it'll be fourth and goal. Magic's gonna be a half, run. To nothing. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. And Jackson throwing once more. And now this is gonna be close. Cody Barton there. The they him and I was gonna say with the pass breakup, but it really wasn't. Just stopped him. That was a close one. I don't, I don't know. I'm scared of being right here, man. <laughs> Javante. Decent run. Giving us some breathing room here. Third and four. Up to the six now. Under two minutes here left in the first half. Minute 48 left. Oh, I hate this game so much. Nah, we're going for it. Fuck it. This is stupid, but our season's all already over, dude. Dulcich doesn't get it. <laughs> what am I doing, bro? I'm trolling. I should've just punted. Cause now they're gonna score and I'm gonna be even more mad. Yep. Whatever, dude. It was gonna happen regardless, I think, so. Ooh, y'all can roast me in the comment section, but. Vele with the return. Cut it outside and why make a block on the outside? Just push him. Well that works too. Idiots. Here's Nix. He's gonna wind up and air it out. Pass to Troy Franklin, he catches it. Holy shit, we can do something, man. Quick screen and we got blitz on the side. That's all right. Stop the clock. Minute left. Is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm. No timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Nice catch to Portland Sutton there. Yeah, figure out how this throwing meter works. Here's another first and ten. Nick's looking to throw again. I tried to dive up towards the pylon, but whatever. Oh man, let's see. Probably Mims or Franklin if I had to guess. That's yeah, not what I wanted. It looked good and then I, out of the corner of my eye, it looked good. I looked again, it was not good. <laughs> let's go. Sutton's injured. Give me a notification, dude. All I ask. Uh, block and release. They'll go for it. Here's Nix. 
freaking Lee, dude. We're run committing, right? Probably a bad decision. It wasn't. All right, lost the three. Dislocated wrist. Oh, we can't even trade him now. Unless he's only out for this game. Then we still can. But if it's more than this week, he's going to be injured and he can't trade an injured player. Which honestly, I'm probably just going to try to get picks for him. I don't know if we're going to get any position that we really need as an upgrade with them. Oh, we can probably get a third rounder. I should have. All the time out. That's going to be the first half. So we're at half time. Baltimore up 21 0. Guess we're running inside. Right and give me it. I clicked. All I did was hold A. And go pass. It's like, oh, we want to run it inside? Okay. Bailey. It's a return up to 33. The Broncos offense set to begin this third quarter. And that first half, oh, they're really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So, as you mentioned, trying to find some way to string together, get some consistency. Little gain there, gain of three. Maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Yes, Josh Reynolds good for the first. And they're gonna hurry back to the line now. Just keep running, hurry up, I guess. Off the play fake. Here's Nix. Dulcich. Big catch and run juke inside. Yeah, don't give me the same play, dude. But they're on the move. First and ten. Little, little run with McLaughlin in there. Pick up a first. Like 12 on that one. Dulcich with the catch, breaking the tackle up to the six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Dulcich, a little weird animation, not really realistic, but he's got a touchdown. All right, 7-21. Hopefully we can stop him on defense now. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Burn Brooks. Throwing that man to the ground with the little pile driver. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. Chris Sam Strain has his fourth tackle, at least fourth. I think he's fat like six now. Sit on the sidelines and watch that drive, so you can bet that they're saying he just needs pass deflections. We gotta go out there and get some more points. A short throw that was horrible. Mark Andrews, and I wouldn't even say breaking tackles, just the, uh, my guys don't know how to attack. Jackson now. Hey, I'm sitting there hitting wrap up. Why am I just sniffing his ass and not doing nothing? Uh, do something. 
extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Tucker now to kick it away. This game never Touchdown. ceases to amaze me. Vele, big return up to the 44. Almost got it to the 45. Officially, they'll call him down at the 44. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Out route complete to Dulcich. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Now it's Nix. Devin Colt. They still catch and run there. To the 26. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And this will leave him a yard short. And Roquan Smith read that gap perfectly, but then we just yeah, give him a little. Right inside. Looking to throw. I need something over the middle. The middle was wide open. I didn't have anything. Try and get Dulcich on a streak here. That's the running the needle. Up to the two. Trail shake. It's, it's the exact same play, but. That would have Troy Franklin broken up. Incomplete. I just wanted to pass the touchdown. Definitely should not have thrown that, but I wanted it. I would have been totally fine if that was picked. It deserved to be picked. Picked. Jordan Brooks laying a big hit. Sorry for the background noise. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting at a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. That one into the hands of Flowers. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Say I likely make it the catch. I tried to play as Abrams drinks. I would really like to get him upgraded here, but and I just need pass deflections. Oh, let me just play as Jonathan Cooper and try and get a. Get some tech for losses here. I think he just needs one. I forget what he needed. Three tackles and a tackle for loss. I don't remember. Oh my god, nope. I didn't want to do that. Throwing is Jackson. This will go to Henry out wide. Call it no gain there on the 
It's been crazy. Greedy Williams with the stop there. Second and ten. Because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch. And most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. That's tan there. Not really doing anything, but causing a pass deflection. Here's Jackson to throw. And they'll get him down. They're browning. Jacqueline the Jackson bringing him fourth and three. So Justin Jackson Tucker coming out now. Are we nailing this field goal? Tucker for the field goal try. This to make it a three score game late. Tucker's kick is. And he does. And there's a flag for every rough kicker. On the field, so let's see what this is about. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just giving him free touchdown, pretty much. Oh, Play action. Now Jackson got his tight end. That's complete. That's Andrews. A good chance oh, now no, to put bro. this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now Jackson. Get the sack. Whatever, dude. In the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. I got nothing. Hey. I knew this was going to be a loss. <laughs> yeah, I think we got, we got Kansas City next week. Right? And then Atlanta after. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. It's got a couple bad games. I mean, obviously you're watching this one, so. Coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Here's second and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Nix. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Escaping the pressure <laughs> right. They got a sneeze. I did that while sneezing. Dosage. <laughs> Big catch to the... Into the red zone. They were sacked. All right. <laughs> Apparently, they just got a sneeze. They could do so. They do stuff while I'm sneezing. Yes, overthrow. And that will be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Bill Dorsett making an amazing catch within the five. I thought that was the game, pretty much. Do a little screen to Javante. Nick's looking to throw again. It's We're gonna get in there. And he is into the end zone for a I must say, heck, and go for two. Just Javante for pride at this point. From four yards out. And, the Broncos have got it back to a and Troy Franklin wide open. Way 235. Yes. 
Two can't points. do onside kick until within the two minute warning. So, unless we can force a fumble here, more than likely going to be the game. to take over on offense they've won two straight and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten they'll try and choose some clock with Henry and a short pickup to about the 27 that was our chance to get our tackle for loss with Jonathan Cooper but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep him in check on that first down carry. Yeah, if I were to just stay where the fuck I was. Would have had it. Football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. <laughs> On third down, oh, Henry. Jordan Brooks had one. <laughs> I shouldn't have called the timeout. Frick. So fresh out of the two minute warning and here's you have a chance had a chance remaining. On fourth down the punt team is on as this is sent away Look at that. Holy shit that will hit and continue on out of bounds. Oh, I was hoping that bounce to the left down by 13 a little under a minute It's called for a fair catch Field goals useless at this point they need two touchdowns and they need them in short order that's into the hands of Reynolds. Josh Reynolds. No, don't. No hurry up. God damn it. That was not good. I remember no hurry up. Just basic play calls. We're good. Here's Nix. Oh, why are you overthrowing that? Freaking A, man. Yeah, that's the game. GG's. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line yeah. of scrimmage, but no more. I can pass it here. So hard to tell. I can imagine so, yeah. I don't really have a reason to. <laughs> and this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. The Ravens send their putter out now. As he'll come on to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside. Yeah, the if yard that line. one pass was an overthrown, so I feel like we had a really good chance. Football, so we're throwing to Marvin Mims. Why are you not going up for the catch? Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way with a lot of interceptions early? All right, GG's. 22-35 is your final. I'm not even looking at the stats, bro. This game was chalked as frick. I don't think we got either one of our devs. I forgot to get... Another thumbnail. Vertical threat. Double vertical threat upgrade for Dulcich. Cody Barton, I don't really care about. We'll go. Physical on Troy Franklin, get that up to 70. So he's at least 70 across the board on everything. 70 plus. Cody Barring gonna be in 80 overall now. 
see if any of these got completed. I doubt it, but. Oh, he did. He's superstar now. All right. We will take that. Linebacker breakout. Doubt it. Got 2500 experience, no dev trade upgrade though. Dulcich gets a new ability. We got some upgrades. Abram Strain and Jonathan Cooper will do both of these as slot. All right, we'll get that up to 79. All right. And Jonathan Cooper. Put Power Rusher on him. That will get him up to 76 overall. No, I forgot to even look for trades. Unfortunate. All right. Next week, we're taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Probably another loss there, but only one way to find out. Tune in for that video. <laughs> That'll do it for this one, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, I will see you once we take on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Till then, stay cool. Peace.